that if the implement or tank profile is changed, an ECU setup is required to learn the tank and drill ECUs to the new profile selected. Okay, on your tank, you have your three ECUs. We have the CM40 number one, CM40 number two, and the EM24. The channel one corresponds with drive one that we see on our monitor. So there's one, two, three, four. So that was drive one, two, three, four, which is tank one, two, three, four. And then our tank five off of the second CM40. And each tree would be plugged into our second channel on this ECU. Because we're gonna be t detecting this ECU first, we won't unplug the comms on it. But we have to reach in, and it's slightly awkward, but it's kind of a one-time setup. Unplug the comms on the CM40, number two, and the EM24, the comms is located here. So now we have to move over to our drill and unplug the comms on them. This outside one we have here is our EM24 running the section control for the NH3. And the inside one we have is our CM40 running Packmaster. So I'll unplug the comms to the EM24 here. And then our comms to our Packmaster ECU here. Now we can move to the cab because we only have one ECU plugged in. Now we've gotten all of our ECUs, the comms on all of them unplugged other than the first CM40 located closest to the tank. As you notice we've started the tractor because we need to have good voltage to detect the ECUs. It's a common mistake for people to try to detect ECUs without a good power source. So one ECU is plugged in, we'll hit the arrow to advance. It detected that CM40 and press next to continue. Accept it. The monitor is going to go through a power cycle and while that's going through its power cycle you're going to wait to make sure the firmware comes up and this is when it's best to have a partner that can plug in the ECUs one at a time. It runs through a reboot And a tree warning because we have it on there. Now we'll wait till it configures the ECU and pulls the firmware in. It has done that. Now to pick up the second CM40, you press where it, number two where it says enabled. And then replace and advance the wizard. I'll just acknowledge these alarms that are coming up. And it says to the number two. So now we can go back to our buddy and plug it in. Found it, accept it, away we go. The next in our list is the EM24 number one. That's the third ECU on the tank. Click, replace, advance the wizard. It detected it and away we go. The next one to do is our EM24 on the drill. So we've instructed our partner to plug in the EM24 on the drill, the next one in our list. And we'll hit enable, replace, advance the wizard, fail. So I mustn't have waited long enough for him to plug it in. Try it again. It detected the ECU. 
advance it, accept it. As I mentioned before, Packmaster is an option along with blockage, so it's not in the standard list. So how do you bring in that ECU? Add new ECU. Connect the new ECU. We've done that. It detected it. Accept it. Now our ECU setup is done correctly.